Now in studio, a very funny woman, comedian, me, Kathleen me. Dunbar. Or should I say a very funny broad? We were just talking that's about right. the word broad. You love the word broad. I think the word broad is like a compliment. I'm sure somebody's going to argue with me on yeah. that. But when I was growing up, if you called somebody, she was a great broad. That was a great compliment. I, I love the attitude. So Kathleen is a comedian, and what sets her apart from some of the other comedians who come into the studio, you're a local. We get people that Live come here. in from all over the valley is your home. I live here. I just celebrated 13 years. 13 years at Channel 13. Channel 13. Thank How you for great celebrating with us. And it's this about midday. 13 degrees below what it probably should be right now. Yeah, so you this hear is that good. Better? She's keeping on top of all the this statistics. This is good. Yeah, right, no well, rain. I'm loving that. Yeah. Congratulations on the 13 years. Now, if you've never seen Kathleen before, she will be at the Tropicana at the Laugh Factory, Laugh Factory tonight through the weekend. Through the weekend. And if folks that haven't come and seen your show before, what can they expect if they uh, want the Kathleen Dunbar experience? I'm a sassy broad. <laughs> I'm a sassy broad. That's what it, pretty much what it, what it boils down to, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And obviously uh, a full uh, comedic show coming up at the Laugh Factory. Why, why do you decide to live in Vegas as opposed to some of the other comedians? Well, I came from the Midwest, which, mm. have you ever been to Wisconsin? Have you ever been back in Wisconsin? I, have, I was there for about five minutes. I thought, yeah. Well, that was about, what, you lose a contest? Mm -hmm. Is that how you got to go? No, Winner goes wrong, to Hawaii, made loser. made a wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> I hated the weather. I hated the cold. I came here on a vacation with my best friend. She said, isn't this town great? We should move here. Seriously? And that was 13 years ago. I'm still waiting for her to join me. And were you a comedian? Were you a professional stand-up comic at that time? No, I was a desktop publisher. Wow. Yeah, I'll say so. So what made you decide to take the plunge and actually get on stage here on the Las Vegas Strip? Well, I was doing stand-up back in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. I was just a part-time thing. I had lost my job mm -hmm. and started getting more and more work as a stand-up, moved to Vegas not ever really expecting to be like a full-time comic. Mm -hmm. And then I got here and I just started getting work and everything just started to happen. And then I had my own show for two years at the Sahara called the Divas of Comedy, which was a great, great thing. I really enjoy doing that. And I've um, been working cruise ships and now I'm working at the beautiful uh, Laugh Factory at, at the, the Trap. Trap Hammer, yeah, wonderful. the beautiful Trap. At what point were you here, or was there ever a point, I should say, that you were here and you realized and it clicked, okay, I can actually make a full-time career out of this? That was about, about six months after I moved here. Wow. All of a sudden, it was like everything just started to click, everything started to happen. When I first moved here, everybody goes, who are you? <laughs> we never heard of you. We're not booking you. And now? Everybody loves me. There you go. <laughs> and you can love Kathleen Dunbar, too. She's a lovable broad, like we've been saying. That's right. Go man. and check her out at the Tropicana. She will be at the Laugh Factory there tonight, all the way through Sunday, performing. What are the times? 8.30 and 10.30. 8.30 and 10.30. Two chances to check her out. Kathleen, thanks for joining us. You got More it. midday right after this.